Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach trainer. I'm working on video number two in a series that I'm producing today, all related to the LinkedIn's new user interface. As you can see on this screen here, I'm looking at the new user interface. Uh, again, in total disclosure, I'm using my wife's login account, Rebecca Burris. She's a business partner at Burris Consulting and she's given me permission to use her account to show these changes as they are rolling out across the globe. Video number one that I've already produced was all about the home page changes. This is the second video in the series and I'm gonna talk about the changes to your, your personal profile. So if I go look at Rebecca's personal profile, which by the way, you get to now by clicking on her image, click on her name. So here's her uh, personal profile on LinkedIn. This is what it looks like when I look at it uh, as I'm logged in as myself on my account in the old interface. But if I go over here, I want to talk with you about the big changes that have occurred to your profile in the new LinkedIn interface. What you'll notice regarding broadcasting changes on your LinkedIn profile is that that uh, box that used to be right here, I'll show it to you on the old profile. So you can see on the old interface, here's the notify your network of changes you've made to your profile. So I can turn this on or off right here. This is no longer on the new interface. On the new interface, you get that option only when you're adding a new section or a new uh, piece of background, new skill or new accomplishments to your profile. You do not get that when you edit existing text. So I'll show you, if I add a new work experience, you'll see that there's that box, I can turn it on or I can turn it off only when you're adding new text, not when you're editing existing text. So you'll see that if I go edit this, you'll notice that down at the bottom it says your edits will not be shared because I turned it off when I last added content to my pro to our profile. The other change is in the old profile in edit mode, you'll see that the add a section is right underneath of your main part of your LinkedIn profile. Those sections have been moved in the new interface over to the right here, add a new profile section. And you'll see they've also been collected in sections. These is, this is the background sections, experience, education, volunteer. If I close that, You'll see that the skills section is grouped there and then everything else that is available is under accomplishments. And you'll notice that it has been shrunk as well. I'm gonna create a list of the sections that have been removed. I've only discovered one very important section that has been removed that you can no longer get to and I'll talk about that in a minute as well. So when you're editing now your LinkedIn profile in the new interface, if I click the edit button up here, you'll see that LinkedIn has just reorganized the display of this so I can change the text, change the image. I can also change the current position that shows up. I don't know where this is altered, but these are her two positions that she has that are current. Don't know how that gets redisplayed. I'll find that soon as well. Education is shown here. You can add new education. The uh, region is shown here. Industry is shown here. Your headline is a big text box. Interestingly, they give you the inclination that there's a lot of text you can put there. I'm pretty sure it's still restricted to 140 characters. And your summary section is also a part of this edit, the intro. I like the way they refer to that. This is the intro section. So here's your summary section, which is limited. I'm pretty sure it's still to 2,000 characters. And then you have the ability to add media, link to media or upload media, and this will show up under your summary section, which again, in the new LinkedIn user interface, shows up in what's called the intro section, which is the top box. I'm going to hit cancel 
and you can see that all of that information is right here and this is her current summary section. The next area of your LinkedIn profile that you can edit is pretty much still the same. Here's her experience section and then you'll see that they're called, this is in the box regarding your background and there's her education as well under the background section. Below that, you'll see that they redesign or relayed out the skills and endorsements. They're making a bigger presentation of the endorsements sections. So you can see that adding new skills is pretty much the same. And that those are the only sections that she has on her profile. But again, you'll notice that you can add those new sections here by selecting them either as a part of accomplishments, the skills, or background. Now, another big change that has happened is that I'll go back over here and look at my profile and you'll notice that in my profile I have the section called additional information which has interest, personal details, and advice for contacting Teddy. This whole section, additional information, appears to have been removed. If I go over here now, Rebecca does not have that section on hers. It's not visible if she did have it. And if I go look, add new profile section, if I go to a background, there is no interest. There's no additional information field. If I look under accomplishments, again, there's no interest. There's no additional information, no public information section. It appears that that section has completely been removed from LinkedIn. So the biggest change to our LinkedIn profile maybe is just the way it's presented and laid out. The one item removed from our personal profiles is the additional information box, which include interest, personal details of birth date and marital status, as well as advice for contacting you. This is video number two, this one regarding managing and editing your own personal profile on LinkedIn. The biggest change being presentation and the removal of the additional information section of LinkedIn. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach and trainer. I hope this is helpful.